Don't be surprised if Chip Kelly has more success at the San Francisco 49ers than he ever did as a Philadelphia Eagle because the 49ers fit what Chip Kelly wants to do from a personnel perspective more than Philadelphia ever did, um, or at least in the previous season. And it all starts with the quarterback position in that Colin Kaepernick was a target that Chip Kelly would have pursued, reports say, uh, wherever he had landed. And Colin Kaepernick is more mobile uh, and more of a dual-threat quarterback beyond that. He's one of the fastest, if not the fastest, quarterback in the league in a straight line. Um, and that's what Chip Kelly wanted to do. Sam Bradford never, ever was that. As a matter of fact, his knees are horrible. Nick Foles was never that. Mark Sanchez was never that. Colin Kaepernick fits what he wants to do to a T and is very similar to Marcus Mariota. And more importantly, or just as importantly as Colin Kaepernick, is the stud running back the 49ers have in Carlos Hyde. And I have said since Carlos Hyde was drafted that if Carlos Hyde ever finds himself on an offensive team that knows what they're doing, he will emerge as one of the best backs in the league. Because prior to Carlos Hyde going down, he was one of the league leaders. I think he was the league leader in broken tackles, but also one of the top leaders in missed tackles. He is an elusive downhill power running back that mixes speed and strength better than 95% of the backs in this league. And as opposed to um, DeMarco Murray, in my opinion, has better lateral quickness than Murray ever did. And is not as used, doesn't have as much usage or mileage than DeMarco Murray had. He's a young rookie who's willing to learn, willing to establish himself. You can tell he wants to be great. And having Kaepernick and Hyde in a system that suits them well is a very, very big deal. Now, Anthony Davis might come out of retirement. He said he plans to in 2016 and quotes that he wants to be the best right tackle in the league. And having a strong offensive line to go with this mobile quarterback and stud running back is a very big deal. But more importantly than than all these things is that when Chip Kelly truly had those two great 10-win seasons, he had Deshaun Jackson. He had a deep threat. Now, he said that Deshaun Jackson didn't fix fit his um, large receiver um, type of role, but... It's important to note that they have Anquan Bolden, who's one of the just a pure professional and one of the best possession receivers in the league. I mean, pretty much won the Ravens a Super Bowl just by going up and getting contested balls and hawking them down. And they also have Torrey Smith. And Torrey Smith can take the top off the defense. And once you would establish this dual threat system, it'll be very, very easy for Kaepernick to understand what's going on. It's when the San Francisco 49ers had success with him as quarterback, is that when they had Frank Gore and Colin Kaepernick in this dual threat system, he would just simply read the box. He would see how many people are in this box right now. One, two, three, just count them up. And if you have a deep threat like that on the outside, if you see eight guys in the box, you know you're having one-on-one coverage. It's an obvious thing. They're going to stack the line. This is what Chip Kelly tried to do. He tried to stack the line, tried to run the ball down their throats, but didn't have the dual quarterback and didn't have the really the deep receiver. Even, granted, he dealt him away. But they have a possession receiver in Bolden, and they have a deep threat in Smith. They have a great running back. Hopefully they get Anthony Davis back, and then you would have your dual threat quarterback. And he will have the ability to mix and match the personnel during the offseason as he sees fit. But the warm weather of San Francisco, along with the fact that they did not have success really in any phase of the offensive side of the ball. So any improvement already makes Chip Kelly look good. They can't finish any worse than they already did. It would be really difficult to finish worse than the 49ers did. So any kind of additional win puts him into another year of building on top of his system. And San Francisco is... This is something to be excited about. Because the thing about Jim Harbaugh that Chip Kelly has is that they're just they're different coaches. The great coaches in this league are just, are just different. They don't think like conventional head coaches do. They don't blend in. You can identify an it coach by the it system they instill in the people around them. They have very unique approaches that are, it's redundant, but unique. And he is going to have the flexibility and the weapons already in place to build around his system. Now, if his system does not work in San Francisco, I don't understand how it, where it would ever work. And I think he would be done with the NFL because you have the dual threat elusive quarterback and in my opinion, a fantastic running back in Carlos Hyde. Hopefully they get the offensive line fixed because if you just if you get killed at the line, it's really hard to do anything in the health. But if Anthony Davis comes back, that should help. Maybe they address and get some help at the line in the draft or through free agency. But they have every piece that I've seen Chip Kelly have success with before and every piece that he wanted to have, i.e. DeMarco Murray, in Carlos Hyde, mobile quarterback that he wanted to draft up and get Mariota and Kaepernick. 
everything is in place. It's just about putting it together and doing it. Um, but that's just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think. Zab, all things sports. And I'll see you guys later.